All right, whiskey people, welcome back. Hey, thanks for watching. This is going to be my long-term review of the John Wick bourbon, the Blanton single barrel. All right, so check this out because I know what's in the title. I'm going to get a lot of new people who are watching this, so forgive me. Let me go ahead and give you the quick rundown in case you're new here. So I'm on a journey through uh, whiskey, bourbon in particular. All my bottles, I buy them by myself, and it's raw, meaning that I haven't had it at a bar, I haven't had it at a friend's house, nobody's sending me bottles. Every bottle that I do on this channel, I buy it on my own based upon just the research and everything else. The way I do it is I usually have two videos. So the first time is me opening it, giving you that raw, uncut, you know, expression, the reaction. And then the second video is after I've had it for a while. So this is the long term. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I'll just get right to it. What do I think about Blanton's? I think Blanton's is a delicious bourbon. I would not buy it again, and I'm gonna tell you why. So as far as the pros are concerned, uh, you got a lot of good flavors. I remember when I first opened it, it seemed kind of hot to me for a, uh, what, 93 proof bourbon. And again, that's why those neck pours, you gotta be careful because a lot of times once they get some air in them, it improves them. So this definitely has gotten better, for sure. Easy to sip, good classic bourbon. So standing on its own in that low 90s categories, it's a very good, probably two thumbs up. But in the whole gamut, based upon everything I try, I'd probably put it as like very mid. So, you know, if you guys have been with me from the beginning, you know I started from the bottom. I started with uh, Jim Beam White Label, you know, Jack Daniels, you know what I'm saying? Buying these things. So I got a lot of experience. I've probably done probably maybe 25 to 30 different whiskeys so far in the past year and a half. And that whole scale of thing is probably very mid, but in all fairness, that's where it should be because it's a 93 proof spirit. That's kind of like, you know, I'd probably say lower mid. So pros are on its own, very tasty, good flavors presentation wise. Okay, so where the weaknesses are has to do with the value. So assuming an MSRP of 60 bucks, this is not a good value. Uh, last summer, I made a video where I had three bourbons under $50. They may have even been under 30, so I'll put a card up for that. Check those out. You could probably get those three bottles instead of this one. So speaking about value, I understand that this bottle may have some social value because people like to take pictures of this, put it on their IG. Maybe it'll give you some likes. You know, you make a video about it on YouTube, you might get some traffic. For me, I don't really care about that, right? Because I'm more just into like bang for buck. And as far as like having it on the bar or something, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know if I wanna invite somebody into my house who's gonna be impressed by what kind of liquor bottles I have. I, I, I would hope they'd be impressed by, you know, the type of man I am being a stand up dude or they'd be impressed by how well behaved my kid is. But I don't wanna pontificate upon that. So value wise, uh, social currency it has, but pound for pound, I think it's very weak there. But wait, let's say we want to like look at it in the Buffalo Trace range, right? So MSRP is 60, right? MSRP of around 30. I'm going to tell you from my experience, I'd much rather have two bottles of this Eagle Rare than one of these, assuming you got it at MSRP. Depending upon where you are, you know, they may even be charging 80 to 150 on the secondary market. There's just no way. I mean, this is a single barrel, right? That means this came out of one barrel. You're, you're never gonna get this same taste again. So it's really defeating because it's kind of like if I told you that, you know, I'm smelling this, right? And maybe I say that this smells like freshly showered vagina, dusted in baby powder, right? Okay, it, it really doesn't matter because you're never gonna get the same thing again, right? The one you get may be different. I probably wouldn't spend any more than MSRP for this, you know, for the first time, if you have to just get it, okay, maybe, maybe 70, maybe 80. Otherwise, I mean, you're not missing anything. But yeah, overall, it was good. I liked it. So overall, I think you got probably like a 35 to $40 whiskey in here and the bottle is worth maybe 20. Again, I mean, this is the 375, but I got the big one right here too. I guess at $60 MSRP, it's probably worth a buy one time, one time, just to try it out. You know, get it out your system, try it. But the second time, again, I mean, I'd probably just get two bottles of Eagle Rare, to be honest with you. I think you'll be much better off. And if you want to, check this out. Once you get your first bottle, just refill that other one with Eagle Rare, 
guarantee you somebody comes over, they're not going to know the difference, especially after the first drink. So that's all I got for this week. Next week, I'll be back with a different bourbon. And like I said, it's not just about getting bottles and unicorn bottles. It's about trying different things, you know, experiencing all that the bourbon world has to offer. Lots of good values on these shelves. Like, don't get caught up in hype and uh, fear of missing out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time.